Okay, so it's been some time since I last posted a video specifically about this, but I wanted to do a follow-up today. And while I haven't used this as much as I want to, for instance, I wanted to try to do some desoldering, I haven't actually been able to sit down and do that yet. I've had some rather irritating problems. What I have found that uh, long arm mount that I've been uh, sort of freaked out about before, this will hold it up, but there is a bit of wobble. So that's something you probably should be aware of if you're thinking about getting yourself a setup like this, you'll get a bit of wobble. So if you give the table a bit of a bounce or someone taps it, this whole thing's gonna wobble. It's the same sort of thing that will be going on with my uh, well, recording device up here. By the way, got a new one. Really hope it's better than the other one. <laughs> so, what I ended up doing was taking this a little bit dodgy SD card. And so far I've been finding it okay. I did notice when it does crash, uh, get something and just poke it in there with that reset switch and the whole thing just reboots and it's fine. So if you do put a SD card in there, it's got a bit of uh, corruption. Yeah. Now, I was thinking this would be able to record in 1080p. And if you take a look at the box, it states on here that it's uh, 3.6 megapixels. The camera itself fires up saying that it's two megapixels. And I can show you that. And there goes my universal battery charger. Yeah, useful, but so let's fire this up. Now, focusing on this is generally okay, so I can do it like that. I'm not sure what you're seeing up there, but still, to change the mode, no, that's the menu. Yeah. So, menu resolution nope okay so as you can see I got it set to 1080p and I hit the mode button it comes up default as two megapixels so I pop in here oh and it's set a little low it might explain why the photos are coming out the way they were last view don't tag Okay, I'll probably have to give that a try later on, but whatever. So, because I can't hold this exactly 100% still, you should be able to make out. What I have found is that if you're gonna be using this in a room with fluorescent lighting, uh, you're not gonna get a particularly good image, I'm afraid. When I was taking recordings and doing and taking photos, in a room that was lit with fluorescent lights and also at night, the image would come washed out. I've noticed that taking it during the day when you have usable daylight, unlike right now, the image is more or less in color. Still grimy, but somewhat acceptable. This knob does feel very weak and I'll recommend against trying to pick the whole thing up by the buy it but anyway as for the stand that came with it uh, the bottom part here is actually quite adhesive I think that's the reason why you're supposed to stick it onto a surface up like this now I will say this a couple of times I did have the nut in here fall out and it is a little tricky to get it put back in place so I think a few ways you can actually mount it are stick it like this and then on your workbench you probably want to have it up a little bit high and I noticed even having it high up off the bench as long as you focus it in you'll get generally a good view but if you want to really really get close to something you know really close up view like looking at a single tiny service mount resistor or something best idea is to have it relatively close the LEDs do actually help I found the this diffuser even though it's pretty piss poor yeah, does an okay-ish job. 
still not fully reliable. You'd want to be in a well lit area and not rely on the uh, LEDs here. Otherwise it's terrible. I will say this, I did accidentally put the little bit of the cover that was on here on the wrong, wrong way and it just tore to pieces. So that's something you're going to want to keep an eye out for. But I have noticed it will generally sort of stay in place. So yes, uh, for someone wanting to do work on you know, professionally, I wouldn't recommend this as you know the go-to thing, but okay as a backup. For a hobbyist that wants to take a closer look at something, yeah, this is pretty okay. It allows you to take photos. You don't require a laptop or another computer to connect to. The downside is I haven't found, well, at least on the outside, there's no way to connect an external monitor to, which is a bit disappointing, but you know, VGA app might have been pretty crappy, but could have worked. I'm tempted to pull it apart, but I'm just not comfortable with doing that right now, I'm afraid. I'll get that out of view. So, overall, all up, I'd say it was well worth the purchase, but hmm, if you are doing something on a regular basis, this is definitely going to be for you. I haven't really used it all that much, so I don't, I haven't had to get in to replace the battery or anything yet. The battery life does seem acceptable, but the mount that I have would allow you to run a USB cable through it and plug it in, so even if you have to, you could run it off the wall. I did toss out the charger that came with it, and I'm using a mobile phone charger that I picked up, I think in an op shop some time ago. I have a whole bunch of them, I usually go in there and, ooh, five volt power supply. Yoink. I mean, the local ones, they only charge like a dollar or two, so it's go in there with about five bucks and usually walk out with something fun. Usually. Or useful. So yeah, uh, overall, now, we can probably ignore this because I didn't have the settings right. As for the video rate, uh, even set to 1080p, it was only recording 1280 by 720. What I found strange, when you first play an audio a video file from this, you get this uh, audio clank, like you're plugging in a headphone jack. I don't know why, so you do end up losing a little bit of space because of this audio file that's created, even though it's not all that big, uh, it's still sort of useless. The videos I found, they come out in AVI, which I'm not really particularly happy about. Let's just see if there's a way of changing that. So resolution, date tag, motion detection, record cycle. No. So yeah, that's not something that can be easily changed. Disappointing. But then again, it is a piece of crap from China. Well, I hope this video helps you and have fun.